If you are like many Americans, you spend seven to eight hours a day at your desk. And with average typing skills at 55 words per minute, you could be hitting over 100,000 keys per week. Repetitive motions combined with improper body positions and awkward postures at your workstation can have serious long-term physical effects on your body, creating unnecessary pain in your neck, shoulders, back, arms, wrists, and hands. The ergonomic specialists at UCLA have devised several ways to help you avoid or reduce discomfort. We'll show you how to properly set up your workstation, position your chair, use your keyboard and pointer, adjust your monitor, and take breaks during the day. Setting up your workstation properly will help alleviate musculoskeletal injuries. Make sure the workstation is at an appropriate height for the type of work you do. If it is too low, elevate it by placing blocks or risers under the legs. If too high, raise your chair. Try to keep your knees lower than or equal to the level of your hips. Placing regularly used items within a comfortable distance from where you sit can eliminate twists and turns that lead to muscle soreness, strains, and backaches. If you're on the phone a lot, try to keep it within easy reach. Using a headset can help prevent neck and shoulder problems. Work files can be placed on tiered file racks to avoid overreaching. Ergonomically correct positioning of your chair is very important. Adjustable chairs are ideal. Here are several factors to consider when setting up your chair. Begin by adjusting the height so your feet are flat on the floor. Then push your hips back so you make contact with the back of the chair, which should be reclined at a 100 to 110 degree angle. If your chair has an active back, meaning it tilts, use it to vary your back position a few times during the day. A well-designed chair should support both your upper back and lower back curves and feel comfortable to sit in. If your chair has an insufficient backrest, use a cushion to maximize support. Select one that is adjustable and can be attached to the chair. A rolled up towel will work if a cushion is not available. Avoid awkward sitting positions like resting your feet on the rungs of your chair, crossing, dangling, or sitting on your legs. These positions can decrease circulation in your legs and feet. To achieve ideal lower body positioning, use a footrest with tilt and height adjustments. When using armrests, your shoulders should be relaxed, not tensed or elevated. To achieve optimal positioning, try the following exercise. First, hang your arms by your side. This will relax your shoulders. Then bend your elbows. If the armrests are at the same level, they are at the perfect height. If not, adjust them so your forearms are resting on the armrests while keeping your shoulders relaxed. The combination of prolonged repetitive use of your keyboard or mouse, poor posture, and incorrect technique can lead to injury. To avoid problems, the proper positioning of your keyboard and mouse is critical. If you are a novice typist who looks down while you type, placing the keyboard on your work surface can help decrease neck strain. Also, multitaskers may want to keep their keyboard on the desk surface. This will eliminate the need to lean over the keyboard tray to reach frequently used items such as file folders or the telephone. Using a keyboard tray does have its advantages. A tray will give you complete control over how you position your keyboard and mouse. Tray height and tilt are easily adjustable. It allows for more space on the work surface. The most frequently used section of the keyboard should be directly in front of your body. Use the feet of the keyboard or the adjustment lever on your tray to vary the tilt. This will keep your wrists and hands in an aligned position. How you set the tilt is directly related to how you sit. If you sit up straight, tilt at a negative angle. If you recline, tilt at a positive angle. To avoid unnecessary pressure on your wrists, they should always be kept straight while typing. No movement should originate at the wrist. Using a palm rest that is level with the keyboard can help to keep this neutral position. 
Place your palms on the palm rest only between keystrokes, not while you're typing. There are several variables to consider when positioning your mouse. The ultimate goal is to place it within close reach. Your shoulders and arms should be as relaxed as possible when mousing. If you feel a strain in your arm when you work, here are some solutions. Use a keyboard tray with an adjustable mouse platform. Try switching the mouse to the left side of the keyboard. Bring the mouse closer to you by replacing your full-sized keyboard with a mini keyboard. Or place a mouse bridge over the 10 keypad. Always hold the mouse in a relaxed grip. Avoid extending or pointing your fingers over the buttons or scroller. Move the mouse by using your hand and forearm as a unit rather than twisting or bending your wrist. When not working, let go of the mouse and relax your fingers. Placement of the monitor is crucial. It should sit directly in front of your body, in line with the keyboard. To correctly fit the monitor to your height, place it so the top of the monitor is slightly below the top of your head. Place books or monitor risers underneath it to prop it up if it's too low. To determine how far away you should sit from the monitor, position it at an arm's length away. Then adjust the monitor distance for your personal visual comfort. Excessive glare in your monitor can cause eye strain and headaches over time. To prevent this, try the following. Use a glare guard on the monitor. Adjust its tilt. Position the monitor at right angles and at least three feet away from windows. Glare from overhead lights and windows can be reduced with the use of light bulb filters and window blinds. Twisting or tilting your head to look at your monitor or source documents can lead to neck and shoulder discomfort. You can avoid this by placing documents on a copy stand between the monitor and the keyboard. This will help keep your neck, shoulders, and eyes relaxed. If you do not have space there, place documents on a stand close to the monitor. If you wear bifocals, avoid tilting your head back to look through your glasses. You can do this by placing the monitor lower than usual on your desktop. Taking frequent breaks and moving around the office can reduce the strain caused by prolonged static postures. Always try to get away from your workstation during lunch or breaks. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. Take a 20-second break every 20 minutes, refocus your eyes on something 20 feet away, and stretch your muscles. Changing your task and moving to a different location will help you to reduce strain on muscles and joints. Let's review. When setting up your workstation, make sure it is at the correct height for your size and commonly used items are convenient to reach. Choose a chair that's adjustable. Sit using good posture with your feet flat on the floor while you work. Adjust your keyboard and mouse to the proper height and angle. Keep your hand in a loose grip and wrist straight. Position the monitor so that your neck is relaxed. Take breaks and stretch. This demonstration is designed to help you avoid discomfort and minimize injury resulting from ergonomic hazards. Once you learn proper work habits, it will become second nature and will increase your efficiency and comfort levels.